738. All right, checking our crap. Free lines. Why does this one feel so light? I'm like, why does it feel so light? Cause my chicken is gone. The bastard took my chicken. All right, bet. Bet. Took my whole chicken? So that's the game we play today? Fine then, no mercy. No mercy today, man. Everything five inches and up getting kept. They got me for my chicken. Game on, gentlemen and ladies, game on. All right, all right, all right. Let's get the day started. So what I have today, I'll be working my six double ring drop nets. I'll be using chicken. Chicken seems to be the best bait of all time when it comes for crabs or the most popular bait. I have not tried fish yet. Y'all let me know in the comments, does fish work better than chicken when it comes to crabbing? All right, in addition, I'll be using free line, six free lines, right? Um, once again, I got this kit that came with the little bait clip that came with the yarn. Took the yarn off. I don't like the yarn. I bought a kite handle, attached it to the clip, and that's our modification, right? I'll try to put the link below on how I did this. You can get it too. So yeah, we got six of these. With that being said, with six nets and six free lines, I should have a goal today of a minimum 12 crabs. Now, I've never been to this spot before, all right? I've never been to this spot before, so we'll see. It's going to be a mystery to me and y'all if I'm going to catch anything today. Another thing is, every time I go to a new crabbing spot, every other comment, excuse me, the motorcycle person got to show how big his balls are. Hold on a second. Every time I go to a new crabbing spot, everybody will ask me, where's the spot at? Where's the spot at? Listen, y'all, these crabbing spots are small, right? This is not like Texas City Dyke, Surfside Jetty, where there's miles of fishing places to go, right? So these crabbing spots are small. But I would, what I will do though, I'm not gonna blow up the crabbing spots, right? Me as a YouTuber, I know I got enough influence that if I put the name and title of these crabbing spots that I go to, it's gonna be shoulder to shoulder within a week. I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna be that YouTuber. But if you look around, you'll see certain landmarks. If you're able to find out where I'm at based off the landmarks of my video, more power to you, come get them. All right, y'all, so 12, 12 traps. We need 12 crabs today. I ain't gonna do it. Enjoy the vlog, y'all. Let go. All right, y'all, first thing first, let's start dropping. It's almost seven o'clock. So we'll, um, there we go. I don't know how deep this pier is, let's see. Two, three, four, that's it. Oh man, that's only maybe like three feet. Well, that's nothing. It's all good though. It's all to the good. We can work with that. So normally when I try a new spot, y'all, um, I just pretty much scout it out. You know what I'm saying? There's multiple locations on a pier. So I'll start maybe at the right side of the pier, then go to the left side, the middle. Okay, this part over here is way deeper for some reason. It's like at least two or three feet deeper. So yeah, I just continue to scout around the area until I actually catch something. What time is it? I try to check my traps within 10 to 15 minute increments, preferably 15 minutes. If the crabbing is hot, I'll check it every 10 minutes. And um, yeah. Whoa, whoa, hold on, don't follow me. Don't fall, wait, wait. This pier is crooked. <clears throat> so yeah, I try to check it in 10 to 15 minute increments. And there we go. Yeah, I can see that. Here we go. How deep is it on this side? Two, three. Okay, it's deeper over here. So yeah, man, I'll just kind of span out the entire area, whether it's a boat ramp up here. I'll just start maybe at the front both sides work my way to the left or right way to the right and see if I can find them now if I find them you know I go from spreading out my nets and free lines and just kind of condensing down 
I'll condense them down to um, a smaller area. There we go. Yeah, I gotta make sure I like tie down my tie down my nets. Cause the buoy is great, right? You can just pull it over. But I've quickly learned on two occasions that you have to tie them down. Especially if you don't know the spot. So I had an alligator try to take one of my damn nets and an alligator gar try to take one of my damn nets. So now I tie them down when all possible. Alright. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I saw maybe a had to been how big was that gator? 10 foot gator at the Trinity River down. I also saw um, another spot where a damn alligator gar. That guard had to be about five feet. It was like thick. Took my chicken and tried to swim off with it. It dropped it because I had my damn thing tied to the, the pier. I learned that I need to tie my nets to the pier after the damn alligator tried to take my damn net and chicken. So I know if I ever want to catch an alligator or an alligator guard, Apparently those bastards eat chicken. As they try to take mine. Alright man. See the nets are light work, bro. The nets are light work. Hold on y'all, this pier is hella crooked. The free line, free line in Craftsman is fun. But it gives me so much damn anxiety. It's like the line never comes up. You don't know if the crab's gonna see you, if it's gonna let go. Something I did learn on my last two crabbing trips, I haven't been filming all my crabbing trips, is that um, you should definitely, if the crab drops your chicken when you put it in, drop your chicken too, right? Don't pull your chicken back. If you got a crab on, and when, you're, when that crab's holding it, right? If it drops the chicken, drop the chicken with it. Just wait about 10 seconds and the crab is going to pick that chicken right back up. There's a couple of dudes at the end fishing on this pier. I'm not sure how good the fishing is. When I pull it up, I see maybe like, I don't know, eight trucks. I'm like, oh, this spot must be hot. But all those people were just catching bait with um, cast nets. So apparently this spot is good for bait. All right, so next one I'm gonna do over here, let me show y'all, is we're gonna set up our free lines right here. There we go. Now I wanna put it along the pilings over here. And the reason is this is just too high to try to pull up, right? But this is perfect, All right? This is perfect for free lining where I can easily pull my string in and get my net and bam, we good to go. Um, I think this pier was damaged in some sort of hurricane, but it's since been repaired and whatnot. My beautiful surroundings. Once again, if you notice any landmarks, if you notice any landmarks, if you can figure out why I'm mad, come check it out. Hopefully this is a good crabbing spot. I got my ultralight rod to do some um, some casting. I always say like when I go crabbing, I'm also gonna go fishing too, but the reality of it is I never have time, man. Damn, crabs keep me busy, jumping net to net to net. All right, so let me get my free line set up. Like I said, we're gonna check in in 15 minute increments. The first round of pulls is kind of like an indication of how the day might go. If I get a keeper on the first round, we're gonna have a solid day. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, so it's been 15 minutes. Let's do the first pull or round of pulls and see if we can get lucky. Just like I said, this one don't feel that super deep. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, nothing. Right, that was not that deep. I'll probably toss it out a little bit farther just to see. 
Okay, this one's a little bit deeper. <clears throat> oh, yes. Got one. And it looks like it's a keeper. It looks like it's a keeper, baby. It's about five and five and a half. First keeper crab of the day. Put her in the bucket. All right, one down. 12 more to go to go. Wait, nah, that's a size desiccation. One down, 11 more to go to go. It doesn't feel big. Well, we're swimming with it though. Oh, it's a keeper though. It's a keeper. Can I get my chicken back, buddy? All right. Let's get a measurement on her. It's close to a keeper. It's nice and brown, though. His defense mechanism is on point. There we go. Male. Check our gauge. And oh yeah, solid keeper. Another keeper, man. A little rusty. They're not giants, but they're keepers. So if I can catch some bigger ones, we'll exchange them. But for now, let's keep it popping. I like that. They're catching so much bait with some cast nets. All these ponds right here, to me, seems like a good area. Seems like a good area to do some flounder fishing, honestly. So they got this whole part like locked down. Catching pinfish, shads. Yeah, man, it's a dude over here kayaking too over there underneath the bridge. So who knows, I might have to bring my kayak out here one day. I gotta see him hook up though. There's some other people over here crabbing as well in fishing. She just threw like a, that looked like a damn redfish as bait. But I gotta see somebody catch something before I become committed to um coming out here to fish. I don't know this area has fish. But if I'm watching three, five, eight people fish and nobody's catching fish, it tells me all I need to know. What is that? So like I say, he's, they're catching a ton of bait. A ton of bait. Kind of make me want to get my cast net. You know, y'all, I think I might get my cast net. If it remains slow, I'm gonna get my cast net and see if I can catch some mullet. Damn. And use mullet as bait for my crab traps for the first time. And just test it out. I wanna really test it out. All right, let's check our free lines and we'll do another round and possibly get our cast net to try to catch some mullet and use mullet as crab bait. See if it works. Comparison. All right, so small female with one claw. You can tell by the apron over here more oval it's not pointy like a you know the p word so yeah my gauge is over here i don't think it's five inches even though five inches is a female if it was five inches i put it back i know i said no mercy in my last um clip i was a little angry but i'm okay now let's put it back there's a ton of mullet over here maybe that's what i'm doing wrong maybe i need mullet and not chicken over here in this area i'm gonna get my cast net <clears throat> Whoa, 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 got one. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all had me down on myself for a second. Youngin, youngin had me down on myself for a second. There we go. Male, nice keeper. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about, all right. I just gotta be patient right now. It's gotta be patient. 
think that's three. But nine more to go. You. Yeah. Okay, this one over here looks like it's getting pulled. Yeah, this one got some tension on it. Yeah, there we go. This one got tension on it. It's a keeper because it's swimming with the chicken. Only the big ones can swim with the chicken. Chairing my chicken up. Back she goes. Once again, I need to probably bring my more nets over here. There we go. Male. I think y'all better look of them. There you go. Yeah, nice size male. If you knew the crabbing. From tip to tip has to be five inches. As you can see, this bad boy is way more than five inches. Probably six. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, it feels heavy. Here we go. Nice one. All right, so we got a good one over here. A big one, y'all. A male. And this is one of the new spots that we just prospect, so maybe we need to move over here. We'll test the other ones. Oh, he's not letting go. Nice. I was just about to move it. <laughs> just because I was just about to move it, produces. Happens like that every time. For some Definitely a keeper, but for good measure. We... Yeah, we're good. Five and a half. This one I was about to move it, it gets caught up. Let me put this one in the bucket and we're gonna go back to cast netting. Cause I want to catch some mullet for bait. So freaking hard. Halfway here. You know what? I'm just gonna grab one here and just like one here. Go right back to where he was at. Jesus Christ. I tell y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not joking. <laughs> Clearly the fish know. I don't know what I'm doing either. Come on. Come on, Renault. You are college educated, bro. You can figure out how to throw a piece of damn plastic. It is not that complicated. Let me wind up my stance a little bit. Here we go. Let me try this side. One time. It's not even a whip. I just kind of have it open and fanning it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. We got shad. I don't want shad. But that was a good cast though. And paid off clearly. Alright. We'll come back to the cast later. For now. Oh, he caught a, a nice crab on his pole. <laughs> oh, he caught a nice crab on his pole. 
That was a good catch. All right. We'll come play with this later because I feel myself getting frustrated and fishing, fishing not supposed to be frustrating, right? But that net, that net right there pisses me to death. All right, so free lines are not producing. I gave this side of the pier about two hours. I think we got about seven keepers. Yeah, I want to say seven keepers on my counter. Um, it was at 3.5 crabs per hour. I'm going to try the left side of the pier. Then there's that other little other pier with no size or railing. It's supposed to kind of sketch. But I'll try that one out too. Let me start moving my free lines. I can't free line though on the high side of the pier. Let me figure it out. I'll be back and I'll let y'all know another update. So let's do one more pull before we relocate all our nets. This is your last time to produce. You better do something. And of course it catches one. Every time I'm thinking about moving it, it lands one. All right. Now. Okay. We got a runner. We got a runner. We got it back. We got it back. Solid keeper. Yeah, man. Every time I'm like, I'm about to move my nets, I catch one. All right. Nothing's producing with the nets anymore. It's been a while since I caught my last keeper crab. This over here looks interesting. Oh, is that a boat ramp? Oh, this is a boat ramp. I didn't even notice that. I bet this might be flounder over there, man. Let me move my free lines to the section over here. Let me grab my rod and reel. I mean, I can catch a fish. I have a list of crabbing spots, right, on Google Maps that I have not been to yet, never been to. This is another spot I came out here for the first time to try it out. I'm going to try to see what's the next nearest crab spot on my list of places to check out. If it's reasonable, then I'll go to the secondary spot. Um, I got a feel for this one so far. Crabs aren't that big. But so far, when it comes to crabbing, man, pier, pier crabs are just smaller compared to boat ramp. Um, crabs. I'm gonna say boat ramp, man. There's a boat ramp at the pier and a boat ramp at the other one, but the other one's gonna be like a creek. You know what I'm saying? A bayou has really bigger crabs. But I, I need to get locked in. All the other people out here just got their strings with their water bottles attached. I'm trying to figure it out. These crabs are like. Bobby Fisher, because we're out here playing chess. I think the chickens, not the chickens, the birds. I think the birds are trying to eat my chicken. Has anybody ever used one of those white, majestic looking birds for cut bait? All right, let me regroup. We're gonna relocate the free lines. And get it figured out. All right, y'all, so I'm at spot number two. Uh, once again, I'm here for crabbing. Now, this so happened, and this particular spot is very popular for flounder during flounder season. So while I'm here, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and Toss out my little voodoo shrimp. I do have some gulp um, as well. But before I do all that, let me just do some test casts. See if I get any nibbles or bites before I commit to bringing out the gulp. We'll check our nets in yeah, 10 minutes or so and see what we can do. Once again, this is not a fishing episode. This is a crabbing episode. But if I can catch me a flounder, it's going to be a crossover episode. All right, I've arrived to spot number three. That's right, one, two, three. Your boy is fighting for his life out here to not make this video, AKA episode, an L. All right, so I'm at one of my um, spots. It's looking pretty, pretty muddy and 
Yeah, yeah, it looks, looks horrible actually. Yeah. Mm. Well, that could be good because the water level's up, right? Crabs seem to bite or eat when the tide is very high. This is promising. I have all the entire boat dock to myself. I have no excuses. So let's get it done. Oh, oh no. It's a snake. It just dove under the water. Where you at, bastard? I know you can't look at that big boy right there, y'all. Look at that, y'all see that? The hell is that? Okay, well, note the self about putting my damn hand. Let's see, I get y'all a closer look. Oh, it's diving. Wait, wait, where the hell you go? Where it go, where it go? Snakes can't breathe underwater, so they gotta come up eventually. Oh, there you go. Look, 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 look. Look, it's on the bank. It's along the bank. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Look at that. Whoa. It just ducked under. Not good. Not good, because I don't know where it went. You gotta come up eventually, homie. But this don't come up on shore. Where the hell it go? Where you go? Okay, so the snake just dove down and it never came back up. And I gotta grab my lines, so that's frightening. All right, right now, be vigilant, because um, I don't know what kind of snake that is. I'm be honest with you. I don't care if it was non-venomous or not. Snake is a snake in my book. They're all the same. I gotta burn this spot now. Ooh. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's like underneath the dock. This net. It's brand new, so I ain't used it yet. Come back and get it. Come here, little bastard. Looks like it's tangled up in my line almost. Got him. Got him. Nice. Can I get my chicken back? There we go. Keep her. There we go. All right. Nice little male. Let's get a measurement on him. Tip to tip, gotta be five. Keep her. This spot right here, this spot is crazy. It's, it's, it's like really never know. And it's crazy, you gotta get at an angle too and snatch it quick. Ugh, got one. See, I told you. Can you look at my chicken? Thank you. All right, y'all, got us a keeper. Set it back. Watch off the gators, baby. I'm gonna bring another net over here for real. There we go. There we go. That's how you do it. Set the gauge on it. Yep, be solid. We are solid. Not a giant, but he, yep, he is legal. This makes number 10, I believe. Another boat ramp, one over here. Check it out. Oh, got one. Yes. See, the boat ramp produces, bro. Okay, it's easier to just flip them in. If you try to grab them with the tongs, then they'll try to just hold on to the net too. So when you just flip them, they'll just release. There we go. 
Another keeper. Is it a female? Nope, male. In Texas, you can keep females. This is the one without eggs. Perfect. Keeper. I just need one more. A dozen. You know, my whole new thing with crapping y'all is that I should get a minimum 12. Like, I'm coming all the way from Houston. I'm coming home with these 12 crabs, period. And if they're the smaller legal ones, quite honestly, it should be two dozen. Frankly. All my free lines are just getting pushed over here. It's not gonna work. I think I'm gonna put all my free lines on the other side behind y'all. Not on the muddy side, but on the right hand side. See if I get better results. I'll be back. All right, so I have my free lines back on that side, I know. But now you had them over there. And you brought them over here. Now you take, that's what you have to do sometime, damn it. You gotta adjust. If they're not over here, you gotta move over there. Now over here, you gotta move over there. Just move it everywhere. All my free lines are over there on that side. Nothing producing free lines over there. That side over there is super muddy. I don't know, I don't know. I'm about to check my nets. They're all at the boat ramp. I need one more to meet my dozen go today. Minimum dozen go today. It's like 1.30. Got like an hour and a half to get it done. I swear to God, I swear to you. Y'all, if it takes me an hour and a half to catch one crab, I'm quitting crabbing. This will be the last crabbing video you ever see on Fish and Chip channel, I'll tell you. I'm not lying. I'm not lying, I'm not lying. It's factual, man. I, I know what you're saying right now. Are you a quitter? Yes, 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 I actually am. I'm a huge quitter. Because if I don't like it, if it's not fun, then I'm quitting, period. With that being said, let's take the boat ramp. I know I'm gonna get, bro, not I know, I am gonna get this 12 keeper before the deadline. Like, oh. all right, y'all, it's a possibility that number 12 is now pulling our chicken. Yeah, baby, come to daddy. Come to daddy, number 12. Don't fight it, number 12. Don't fight it, number 12. Don't fight it. Don't fight it, number 12. Don't fight it, no, 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 no. No. Don't fight it, number 12. Don't fight it, number 12. Don't fight it, number 12. Let's go. Number 12 looks like a keeper, too. All right. It is not a monster by chance, but it is a male. Looks like a keeper. Here we go. Yeah, the Michael Jackson was a mosquito, though. Like, yeah, thriller, you know? And we have 1,000% keeper. Boom. Number 12, we did it. Two o'clock with an hour to spare. Oh, with an hour to spare. All right, so now at this point, new goal is to see how many I can catch above 12 from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. If the answer is nothing, then I'll see you in the kitchen if I cook. I don't know if I'm gonna make this a catch and cook yet. I'm tired, I'm, I'm upset. But we did hit our goal. This is the end of the video, make sure you thumbs up. Comment, like, subscribe, whatever. I don't care. I'm hot. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. I'm sorry. That's not your fault. It's not your fault. Give me a hug, man. Give me a hug. My back. I'm sorry, y'all. That's not your fault. I'm sorry. All right. Y'all forgive me? Y'all forgive me? Bet.